News 19 is your local election headquarters, and today marks three months until primary elections, and the race for senator is underway with three candidates leading as front runners. And this is all coming on the heels of Senator Richard Shelby deciding not to run for re-election after six terms. And News 19's Hannah Jones joins us live with more on where the race currently stands. Hannah. The race currently focuses primarily around three candidates, Katie Britt, Katie Britt, Mike Durant, and current Congressman Mo Brooks. Now, as the Senate primary approaches, voters can expect to see more and hear more about the candidates through campaign ads and meet and greets. Britt and Brooks both have political experience and a handful of endorsements. Britt has the approval of her former employer, Senator Richard Shelby, and Brooks has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump. And veteran and businessman Durant has created an image as a political outsider. But a News 19 political analyst says experience and personality are not necessarily all that is needed to win the primary. Usually when you're getting uh, uh, financed, uh, especially from voters, uh, those are going to translate into votes. So uh, I, I think, and, and if you have an endorsement or you have a particular uh, point of view or experience as a candidate that you want voters to know about, you have to have money to get the, that message out. And when it comes to money, federal election reports from early 2022 reveal Britt leads her opponents in campaign contributions. And Britt will be in Madison County for the next two days. She's hosting a meet and greet here in Huntsville tonight. News 19 will be there and provide you the updates tonight on News 19 at 9 and 10. Live this morning, Hannah Jones, News 19.